Hi pals and welcome back to my World of Tanks channel. I'm Antonov2 as usual and today I've got a real beauty lined up for you guys. I finally got my hands on the T-34 tier 8 American premium heavy tank. Once 8.8 .8 went live you had the ability to sell the Super Pershing for the purchase price of 7200 gold and uh, I did that because I kind of started to hate my Super Pershing although I really loved it once just because of the bad penetration and you know the whole tank got even worse in patch 8.8 .8. and I just don't like it anymore so I sold it and I got myself this baby here instead and boy I love this tank so much it is so good it's got this absolutely amazing gun so you see there we get a quite a low damage roll actually into the tiger 2 we can quickly see uh, what the average damage for this gun is it's 400 so we rolled for 376 I think so that wasn't all that good really and uh, yeah this tank has got an amazing gun with great alpha damage one of the best alpha damages at tier 8 and I think it is the best alpha damage of any heavy tank at tier 8. It's uh, got very, very good penetration and uh, decent accuracy of 0.35. But the main drawback of this gun is the really bad aiming time of 3.4 seconds. Yeah. And uh, also a very bad reload because this gun could only fire 4 shots a minute. But it is still so good. And the tank isn't all that slow really, and the turret armor is insane, but the whole armor is not good at all. And um, I fire that shot, I just kind of donk that shot really, that wasn't good at all. But uh, one of the major drawback of this tank is that it's pretty damn slow to accelerate, and mainly it doesn't turn fast at all. The whole traverse speed is slow, and the turret traverse speed is even slower. It's I think 18 degrees which is as bad as the Hellcats turret traverse so I decide that in that streety uh, streety fight <laughs> street fight with the Tiger 2 I stand no chance because he's got better armor and he apparently knows what he's doing so I decide to help this IS-3 here with the Black Prince and I roll pretty low again that's one thing I really don't like about this gun sometimes it rolled really high and sometimes it rolls really low. I've rolled to up to 450 damage in this gun, but it sometimes only rolls for 350. And it's just got this kind of random nature, which can be a bit annoying. So, this Tiger 2 here, you see, we easily put a shot through his upper glacius, rolling for 397, which is kind of average. It's free below average, so it's bang on for money, really. And we easily pen as upper glaciers, which is amazing. So, uh, right now the Tiger 2 makes a fatal mistake. He turns around to defend against the IS-3, which allows me to put a shot into him. I wouldn't have done that in the Tiger 2's place, because I've got high alpha damage from the IS-3. So, he takes my tracks off, I put a shot in his lower glaciers. And it would have been really nice if we could have taken him out, but we leave him on 23 health. He gets another shot into us, leaving us on 155. But probably we can reload in time, and yeah, we finish him off. And grab our first kill, and pull the score over to 9 to 8 in our favour. So, yeah, it's looking kind of good. Our team's got the city more or less secured. We're now all closing in on that AMX 5100. I have to be really careful. If he shoots at me, he can probably easily kill me by shooting at my hull, which isn't armoured very well at all, as I already pointed out. But he decides to shoot the IS-3, and I get a shot into him before the IS... I Let's see who, yeah, I think the IS-3 took him out. So, uh, let's see if we can get a sneaky shot off into this T-29. We bounce. Well, we don't exactly bounce. I think his tracks absorbed that hit. And now I have to be really careful. He hasn't got the top gun. He's got the 90mm gun. So, um, that's good. I decide to ram 84 damage and take him out. Which was kind of a waste of 120mm shell there. But, you know, kill us kill. So, it's 11 to 9 now, and you can see most of the enemies have pushed round to our rear, attacking the Carnarvon and the SU-152 over there. It's an IS-3 in the Type 
59, I think. Might be the Type 58 as well. No, it's the Type 59. Okay, the artillery's probably in their base, so you can see all the heavy tanks are going over to uh, take off the artillery. I decide to uh, support the Carnarvon by sniping. I actually like to play this vehicle like a tank destroyer because it's got this amazing gun and it's pretty accurate. I use it as a second line support tank and I seem to do very well. And the credit earning potential of this vehicle is amazing. You make so much credit even in a bad game. And you know you only have to fire three shots for example and you've already done 1200 damage. With four shots you've already done more damage than you've got hit points so that's really amazing. So I try to leave my shot buff IS3 stops which allows me to easily put 404 damage hit into a side which is nice. And let's see if we can get another one in. I try to kind of go hold down behind this rubble here but he vanishes behind the hill. It doesn't vanish but he takes cover there. So I can't shoot him. And yeah that's something this tank's really good at going hold down because it's got amazing turret armor and good gun depression. However, you can see there's this cupola on the top of the turret, which means that sometimes you can be knocked out even if you are hold down. So now somebody's shooting at me, probably the Type 59. Can we? I'm reversing and- Whoa! Look at that shot! Oh my days! I was reversing the aiming circles maximum dispersed and I just, just fired absolutely clutch into the rear of the turret of the IS-3 and ammo racked him. That probably was- Oh, that must have been the luckiest shot ever. So the Type 59 is coming round and oh yeah we get a good shot into him and the game ends before he can return fire. How amazing. That was so funny. These two things. First of all the clutch shot into the IS-3. I'm racking him. And then <laughs> just taking the tracks off and really highly damaging that Type 59. And then not allowing him to return fire to us and taking us out because the game ends. Oh my days, that was such a funny game. So let's see how we did. Boy, that was a good game. We got 117,247 credits and 1,764 experience out of that game. However, you must remember that I was running a premium account, so it's not quite as good as it may look, but it's still alright. And, well, alright, it's very good. And uh, we got a first class mastery badge and a Spartan for bouncing a shot with 10% or less of our health remaining, which is nice. And if we mouse over IS3, we can see, can we see? Yes, we dealt 1342 damage within two hits, which is, yeah, pretty good. And um, if we look at the team score, we can see we dealt the most damage by far, clocking in at 4161 HP, picked up three kills, which was the second most on our team, uh, after the T29 who got four, and we got the most experience with 1176 base XP, which is a bit more than the second on our team with A44. And on the enemy team, well, nobody really did all that good. The Type 59 had a decent game and the artillery wasn't bad either, except for them, they weren't that good really. So, uh, yeah, we fired 13 shots of which 12 hit and 12 penetrated, which highlights the amazing penetration potential of this gun. I already talked about the damage, which was quite a lot. We received 9 hits of which 6 penetrated and 3 ricocheted. The T-34 is not a weakly armoured tank, but the problem is the hull is just very bad. So in city combat, where you haven't got many hull down opportunities, your hull can get penetrated very often. Still, we managed to uh, receive 2,195 potential damage without dying, and considering that we've got only 1,500 hit points, that's pretty nice. And we detected one enemy, I guess that was the Tiger 2. We damaged 6, 
destroyed three, one of them obviously being that hilarious ammo rack on the IS-3 and travelled 1.3 clicks. And as you can see we didn't have to spend all that much money for the ammunition because the ammunition is very expensive but the low rate of fire in combination with the excellent alpha damage means that you don't have to fire many shots and you can still score a lot of damage as you, as you could see right there. And that means that we still could keep 93,388 credits. So that was a very nice game and I hope you enjoyed it. And oh, I, I think that was my luckiest shot ever in my World of Tanks career. That Amorak on the IS-3. Oh my days. That was so funny. So I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. If you did, consider giving it a thumbs up below or even subbing to my channel or liking my Facebook page. I would appreciate any of those actions a lot. And maybe you'll check out one of my next videos. I'll see you then and bye-bye. <laughs>